It looks like Starlink's major threat might not be from the upper atmosphere or low Earth orbit, but from the surface. The astronomers, if you were to observe the night sky with your camera using long exposures or with a telescope, you might find some unusual straight lines in your image. No, those are not star trails, they are the trails left behind by Starlink satellites. Over 40% of the population still do not have internet access, and it looks like Starlink might solve just that. When we all thought this might finally be the perfect solution for those in remote areas, the astronomers are not happy with satellite constellations like Starlink. So keep watching till the end to know more about how Starlink will hurt astronomy. When you think of Elon Musk, you might think of his electric car company, Tesla, or his famous purchase of Twitter. You might also know Musk as one of the richest people on the planet. Apart from Twitter, it's Starlink that is creating all the buzz. There is a huge growing demand for reliable high-speed internet because today everything that we do is related to some internet service. But not everyone has this privilege where they could book their next ride or order food using their smartphone. Starlink is here to solve just that. If you are not familiar with Starlink, well, it is a service offered by SpaceX to provide satellite internet connections to almost everyone on the planet with the help of a growing network of private satellites orbiting overhead. The development began way back in 2015 with the prototype satellites launched into orbit in 2018. Ever since then, SpaceX was successful in deploying thousands of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Starlink will be utilizing a network of low Earth orbit satellites to provide internet access to underserved areas. This way, users will be able to enjoy fast, affordable, and reliable internet no matter where they live. But keep in mind that Starlink is not for everybody and you're better off with your optic fiber broadband connection if you live in an urban area. So Starlink is not going to replace your wired broadband connection anytime soon. Starlink services are now offered in 37 countries worldwide and the list is growing to include more countries. But why Starlink instead of fiber internet connections? Well, the internet delivered via ground laid cables offer upload and download speeds that are much faster than satellite internet. So Starlink is not here to compete with fiber connections connections, but to provide internet access to some of the remotest locations on the planet. SpaceX is a company that can deploy several satellites into low Earth orbit with their reusable rockets that are capable of delivering payload after payload into orbit which is a huge advantage in the entire commercial space race. So what makes Starlink different from every other satellite internet service out there? Well, one key difference is the use of low Earth orbit satellites, which allows for lower latency and higher speeds compared to traditional geostationary satellites. This means that users can do data transfers with extremely low latency compared to other satellite services, but still not comparable with the fiber optic ground connections that we already have. Starlink's solution will also be ideal for emergency response efforts and disaster recovery efforts. So far, users have been reporting significant improve internet speeds and connectivity, and the company is already planning to launch a total of 12,000 satellites in the coming years, which will then position Starlink as a global leader in the satellite internet space. With all the positives, Starlink is not immune to any controversies. The scientific community members have raised concerns about Starlink's low-Earth orbit satellites on night sky visibility. There are already plenty of concerns about the proliferation of privately owned satellites in space and controversies in astronomical circles about the impact of low-orbiting satellites on the night sky. The problem with Starlink Link satellites has to do with the fact that these are positioned in lower Earth orbit, so they are particularly bright and they move rapidly across the night sky. These satellites might disrupt ground-based astronomy, ruining an image or spectroscope measurement as they streak through the telescope's field of view. SpaceX already attempted to minimize this light pollution by coating a few of the Starlink satellites with the dark material known and they ended up creating the dark SAT. But this caused problems with controlling its temperature. In 2019, shortly after the deployment of Starlink's very fast broadband satellites, the International Astronomical Union released a statement warning of unforeseen consequences for stargazing and the protection of nocturnal wildlife. The statement focused on the impact of thousands of these visible satellites, and it is yet to be understood despite their good intentions. Ever since then, Starlink has been testing several different designs to reduce the brightness and visibility of its satellites. The company redesigned them in such a way that these satellites minimize the amount of light that is reflected back to the Earth. During the beginning of 2020, the company tested a dark sat satellite that included a special non-reflective coating. Later in June 2020, the company launched VisorSat satellite that features a special sun visor. In August of 2020, Starlink launched another batch of satellites, all of them equipped with sun visors. This means that the Starlink team might have worked closely with leading astronomers around the world to understand the specifics of their observations and engineering changes that are needed to reduce satellite brightness. A single Starlink satellite has a lifespan of about five years and SpaceX eventually hopes to have as many as 42,000 satellites in the so-called mega constellation. The current version of each Starlink satellite weighs approximately 260 kilograms. As of November 2022, there are more than 3271 Starlink satellites in orbit, 
out of which 3236 are operational. Starlink satellites orbit approximately 342 miles or about 550 kilometers above Earth. The size and scale of the Starlink project concerns astronomers who fear that these bright orbiting objects will interfere with the observations of the universe as well as spaceflight safety experts who now view Starlink satellites as number one source of collision hazard in Earth's orbit. Some scientists also worry that the amount of metal that will be burning up in the Earth's atmosphere could trigger unpredictable changes to the planet's climate. Astronomers are worried about satellite trails and reflections that interfere with observation, particularly in the optical and near-infrared wavelengths that are commonly used in astronomy. Light pollution has always been a concern for every astronomer out there, especially when performing long exposures of specific areas of space and Starlink satellites just made it worse. The bright reflections from the satellites that cause glare or other distractions in the night sky, which could impact the visibility of celestial objects and the ability of astronomers to observe them. However, it is extremely important to note that these concerns are not just unique to Starlink, but also with other satellite constellations. Other sources of light pollution, such as streetlights, advertising billboards, and aircraft, also have the potential to impact astronomical observations. SpaceX also worked with astronomers and other stakeholders to address any potential issues and also found ways to minimize the impact of its satellites on scientific observations. Studies that analyze the impact of a mega constellation of satellites noted that only certain types of observation would be affected by additional satellite population. The impacts will be very significant for certain types of observation like twilight observations and long exposure observations with wide field of views. Certain observatories like the ones at relatively high latitude and during certain times of the year like local summer. So how bright are these Starlink satellites? Well, a team from the University of Arizona managed to investigate the problem as an undergraduate project and they captured images of Starlink passes using a wide field lens with a field of view 15 times Times larger than the width of the moon filter to a 16 megapixel camera. They collected over 350 observations of 61 Starlink satellites over a four month period from February 2021 and calculated the brightness of each using the known magnitude of stars in the frame. They found out that the average magnitude in the first generation of Starlink satellites was plus minus 5.1 and the magnitude of DarkSat averaged at 7.34 which is almost eight times fainter than the earliest Starlink satellite. But Visorsat only reduced the glare with magnitude of 6.0, making the Visorsat so bright that they posed a significant hindrance to astronomers. So how can these astronomers get rid of Starlink satellites altogether? Well, astronomers could temporarily close telescope shutters for 10 seconds while a Starlink satellite crosses the frame, but this heavily relies on knowledge of the position of the satellites. They found out that an average time difference between the known and observed position along their orbit is 0.3 seconds meaning such observational pauses are likely to be effective. This is by far the best solution to avoid the light pollution from these satellite constellations. It is important to recognize the negatives of satellite internet services like Starlink Other than just focusing on the potential benefits like connecting the world by bringing reliable high-speed internet access to remote and underserved areas at the expense of studying about the cosmos that we know very little about. Today, SpaceX is already busy expanding and selling their satellite internet service to the rest of the world which raises the eyebrows of astronomers. Maybe SpaceX needs to focus on creating a darker future with their satellites so that they don't interfere with astronomical observations for the years to come.